Okay, bear with me. I'm just trying to get the computer, the trying to get my tripod to hold the phone where I need it to. Okay, excuse me. I'm a little out of it. I just got up a little while ago, and I'm dealing with a migraine right now. But I'm gonna show y'all the best route that I used to take to split my work um my images because when I first started out in the sublimation or with any design when I first started out I um had a smaller printer so by me having a smaller printer it was kind of hard to do like say I wanted to take to do a picture on a pillow and to cover the pillow up it was kind of hard to do that so Basically, what I would do is I would go into Word and I would split the image so I can cover more of an area. So it does get a headache depending on how many how many orders you're doing and whatnot. So that's what made me push to get a bigger printer. But sometimes I still have to do all of this because of the fact that if I have a 10x shirt that I do, um, my 10x shirt is normally, I say, about 18 by 22 inches for the image. So if I'm doing 18 by 22 inches for the image alone, that's not going to print on a 13 by 19 um, printer. So what you have to do, you got to split it. So I basically, for that, I was splitting into two images. So I can do the bigger way to show you all, or I could just do something basic. It's up to y'all. So um, right now, my format is at the regular standard um, letter size for the paper. So for those that need help, because I've seen someone say, how do you change the, um, the size of the paper? When you want to change the size of the paper, you go to layout. Go to size. I'm sorry. Layout. And go to size. You can either. It's automatically on letter. So sometimes the super B will show up in here. And sometimes it won't. By me having so many different things, printers connected to my computer... Um, it doesn't always show. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and try doing, I'm going to make it the, the maximum size right now. The maximum size to, um, to change in Microsoft Office is 22 inches by 22 inches. But of course, my printer doesn't print out that much. But I do this because if I am going to do a, a 18 I think I did 18 by 22. It might have been 18 by 20, but right now I don't know the measurements offhand. But I'm going to just do the, the layout for the page to be the biggest size that it can be. This little tripod is really getting on my nerves. Okay. Give me a second, y'all. I'm struggling this morning. Okay. So, it will pop up with this message. I just ignore it because it's not going to affect anything. But as you can see, how big the pic the paper got compared to the 8 by 11 or the 8.5 by 11. Okay, so, you got your image here. I'm going to make this, uh, let me see. Uh, let's do this. Eight. I'll do this 15 by 15. Just so I can have. No, I want to do it bigger. Hold on. Give me a second to size it up. We all should know how to size up. Like, if you needed to go a certain route, of course you will move it. Move the size that you need. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm struggling this morning with this tripod. Because I usually be downstairs at my desk. But right now I'm laying in the bed. I ain't even gonna lie. And it's quiet in my room. Because the kids are doing their schoolwork and the other one is knocked out. So bear with me, please. <laughs> okay. You know. I think I should be able to put this somewhere else. Give me a second. Because this is not really working this morning. It's either too close or too far. Give me a second. Because 
For some reason, Facebook does not let you turn your camera landscape mode. It wants you to do everything in portrait mode. Okay. I think, nope, we're sliding. Y'all probably over there just cracking up laughing at me right now. Okay, that should be able to do it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I got it about, I say, I'll do 18 by 18. So let me finish measuring this out. 18 inches. I should have just did a box to fill it in. Because when you do the fill, when you insert a box or a shape and then insert the image, fill the image in with the picture. Do y'all know how to do that? Where you insert a box or in, insert a shape, I'm sorry. Insert any shape and fill it with the image. Uh, if y'all don't know how to do that, let me know and I can show you how to do that as well. Because that helps out if you have to do something a certain shape. Or even if you just want to, don't feel like sizing up the picture like you like it needs to be. Okay, so I'm getting this to 18. You know what? No, let me go to 15 by 15 like I said. I'm sorry. Or 16. If y'all don't know how to do it, I could do that next. But let me show you this first. Now, like I said in the caption, this may not work for some people. Some people may be like, oh, that's too difficult or that's doing too much. Um, or, you know, it's an easier way. If I've come across an easier way, I will let y'all know. But as this got me through the first year. I say about first year. Yeah, the first year of me doing sublimation. So it, it helps. Okay. So now that I got the image, the size that I wanted, you're going to go over to cropped, which is under the format picture tools, go to cropped. I don't want to move this because if I move it, it's going to fall again. Okay. So now that you got your image cropped, first of all, hold on, let me, let me copy the image first. Okay. So you're going to copy the image first, cropped it. Okay. So it's eight by, it's 16 by 16. So we're going to make one side. 16 by 8. Um, I got to move it. Okay, so over here, you would be paying attention to your sizes. So once that gets to the 8, that's how I know I got it split directly down the middle. So give me a second, and I will... It decided to move up some. Okay. So we're at 15, I mean, 7.95 and now. We get this back to 16. Cause I don't know where this decided to do. God damn it. Okay, hold on. Like I haven't did it in a while, so give me a chance. Give me a second. Cause that fifteen, that sixteen went down to fifteen ninety nine. Okay. Now I'm trying to move just this. So that's at seven eighty nine. Okay. So I got it at the fifteen. I mean, I'm sorry, at the at the eight mark. So now it went down just a tiny bit as far as the height of the picture, but I'm gonna work with it. Okay, so now you see this is just this image. So this is the reason why I copied it beforehand. Cause once you copy it, you're gonna need to do it again. Or you can go up here and just copy this one. So I'm gonna copy this one. paste it so I could delete this one back okay now you see it's the same exact image but you can always go back to cropped it now this is where I this is what I do like I said you know if you find a better way let me know but so far it works for me so now that you have it cropped you have both images of Tommy of course but you got to get the other side of that image done so you just bring it over line it up you'll be able to see if it's lined up because you'll see like the 
the red, it'll be like a dotted line. And then on top of it, you'll be able to see as well because it'll line up perfectly. So, there you go. It went to the full image again. So, now I got this one, which I'm going to move back up here. And since I changed the position of it, it jumped onto the other side. So now, okay. So now you have two images lined up. They match up. Well, right now they're not matching up perfect. I'm sorry. Hold on. You press control and click both images together. Line them up. Uh, line them up middle. And there you go. So both images are split now. So you can move it how you need to. So since you have two images that are split, of course, I recommend putting them on top of each other before you change the page. Now you're going to go back to layout and go to size, change your paper size again. This time, since I use the 13, 13 by 19 paper, you set change it down to the size that you would need. Now, if you have to get this down to an even smaller size, because I've had to cut it into fours this is just a simple way to cut it into two i've had to slice it into four images so i can do a pillow before because i wanted to do a full bleed pillow now we know that the pictures match up all the way now it's just basically putting them on two separate sheets so i recommend lining them up so that when you cut the paper it will um it'll be a lot easier to tape them together because you have to tape them together because you don't want to since they since they tape here i just want this little extra piece right here that way if i have this little extra piece i can tape this one to it or actually on this one i'm sorry because this is the one that'll go to the bottom so i will cut off this little access on here and tape the image to match up with this image down here so that'll get you exactly how you need it so that you can fit it on this like i said this picture was 16 by 16 so if you're doing something and you want to cover it 16 by 16 that's how you would do if you're doing an all over uh, a all over t-shirt you'll be able to um you know slice up your image however many times you need to slice it up but you'll be able to do it in a 22 by 22 then once you get all your images Met, um, matched up to make sure everything is lined up the correct way and make sure that um, nothing is off because you don't want the image to go over and like if you got it uneven you'll have part of one image cut too much the other image cut not enough so I mean cut the exact way so it won't line up if you do it so the with this route like I said you pay attention to the format tools you cropped it pay attention to make sure that it's sliced right directly down the middle if it's the 16 by 16 what's gonna happen is you slice it to 16 16 um straight down or however portrait mode or if you want in a landscape mode i did it in portrait mode so it's gonna be 16 inches long by 8 inches wide if you have something that needs to be 18 by 18 9 inches wide and um, 19 inches long but you don't want to go that route because yeah a printer is 13 by 19 but when you're printing in word it's not going to let you print the full 13 by 19 unless you change some settings so i'm not is this helping anyone because i can actually see my phone now So if you have any questions, let me know. I can step over. So you would miss it. <laughs> I can go back and show you again. So should I repeat? Y'all want me to repeat it? You want me to go um go over to the um inserting the image into a shape? Okay, give me a 
second. Mama, don't push the computer. Okay, let me go back. Okay. So you still watching? I'm going back now. Okay. I went back a few steps. All I did was crop the image. Once I cropped the image, I copied it. I cropped it down to half the size. Copied it and pasted it. So this is the actual image down here. I copied the image, pasted it right next to it. Go to format. Cropped. Slide your image over. You'll know if it lines up because you won't get that um, dotted line next to it. So it's a dotted line here, but that's not what we're worried about. We're worried about here. So since I don't get that dotted line here and both pictures line up together. Yeah, that one's supposed to go down there. Hold on. Okay, so both images line up together. Perfect match. This is the sliced one. This is the one that wasn't even touched. So you really can't even see the difference. Okay, now, now that I've covered that, let me show y'all how to insert an image. I should keep this to put it on something. I'll go back to it. Okay, because I may put that on a doormat. Um, okay, so show y'all how to do the insert the images. I'm sorry, my baby didn't kick my computer. She knocked out sleeping. Okay, so for images, you want to go to insert. I go to shapes. Um, let me see. A lot of times we just, you know, as far as what I was saying a little while ago, where I should have just inserted the image. Okay. If you're doing, this is the easiest way for me, honestly, even when I do my pillows, whatever. I size that picture, I size the box up to what I need it. Okay, so if I want to do a, I know a pillow, I do 12 by, 12 by 6 by 14. Okay, so that's the size a pillow will be. Let me change my format to my paper. Hold on. Go back to my 13 by 19. If this little girl stops kicking my computer. Like I said, you get that image, just ignore that image. It's not going to stop you from printing. It's not going to affect anything you do. So I just ignore it. Okay, so as you can see, it's still in portrait mode. Let me change that as well. Okay, so now we're in landscape mode. I position it where I want it at. Since it's landscape mode, I'm going to position it to that one. Slide it over a little bit because I try to use... I clip it off after I press. I save this because I could do car fresheners on here. I could do dog tags on here, um, ornaments, lighters, anything small. Um, sometimes I can even get, actually all the time, I use them for mugs as well. So this little extra access paper, don't throw that away. You can slide that back in your printer the same way that you will put other papers. And you can re you can use that piece to print on that only. Okay, so I see it drop down to three. I guess everybody left. Um, okay, so once you get this picture on here, um, now we're going to format. So once you get into format, you will go over here to shape, fill, and then you will go to picture. You can go to online pictures. You can go to the pictures that you have already saved in your computer. So I'm going to go to something I already have saved. Click access. I'm going to use the same picture. Okay. I don't want my frequent folders. Okay. I'm going to use the same picture. And there you have it. The exact size that I needed it. I don't have to adjust anything. It's 
you insert the image. Did y'all get that or do I need to repeat it? Okay, basically, you insert your image. I mean, insert your shape. You go to the insert tab, insert your shape. Once you insert that shape, you size that shape, whatever the shape is, you size it up to how you need it. Okay, let me just repeat it. Okay, so we're going to go over here to the insert tab. Insert, go to shapes. I chose the square shape. So you just place it. And now I'm going to go over here and size it. This is what I would do if I was doing a pillow. Size it. I like to do my pillows in landscape mode because I don't like the top of the people's head to get cut off. Okay, so now you will position it. I always go here to position it off to the side. Move it over as much as you can. Because as I was stating, if you move it over as much as you can, you can use this access paper for dog tags. You can use it for um, mugs, car fresheners, anything small. So this paper costs. You don't want to waste that paper. So you get that pa this little access that you have. Once you get ready to press Clip off what you need, put the access to the side. That will help so much. The same way nobody likes wasting vinyl, you don't want to waste no paper. I I use A-sub paper, so I'm not trying to waste any paper. So whenever I got a small job to do, I don't print out the full sheet. If it's something that can fit in this sheet, in this little piece right here, if I'm not doing it all at one time, because say I only got a pillow order today, but tomorrow I get an order for like 10 dog tags. Okay, I got my scrap paper left over to the side, sliding into the printer, and you ain't wasting a full 13 by 19 sheet. Now, once it's time to fill this shape in, you go to shape fill, go to picture, go from file, unless you want to go directly online. Okay, quick access. Let me go back to my pictures, insert the picture I just did. And I don't have to size it at all. It's the exact size I needed. Now, one thing I will remind, will say is make sure you go to shape outline and go to no outline. Because if not, it's going to be a blue outline or whatever color your shape was originally. So now if you feel like you're print, printing um, on sublimation, because you know when we print and press, it comes out darker. I go over here to format picture tools. Then corrections. This was, this helps out when you want to sharpen the image, if you want to enhance it, stuff like that. So a lot of times I just change the brightness and the contrast and the picture looks way better. So let me go back so you can see. This was before. That was after. So now I've showed you how to slice the image. We've sliced the image in Microsoft Word, and we have um, inserted an image into a shape, and I showed you how to enhance. So I hope, I hope that helped a lot with those that needed it. Yeah, this is the, I use this method all the time for a shirt. I did it on the bigger one because, like I said, the biggest shirt I've done so far is a, 10 by, is a 10X, so that's why I did it in the bigger one. Because the bigger one, um, the bigger page, you get more space to slice your image, even if it is, even if it is like a 15 by 15 image or a 12 by 12, it's easier to make your paper bigger first so that you can slice it and have that together. Um, and then you just place the images on top of each other. I'm sorry, I have to take that off that. Um, you place the image on top of each other, but, um. But once you do that, you just um, resize it back to your paper and everything like you need it. You said you, the slicing wasn't hard to do at all. I actually went back and did it again. So you'll be able to see it being done again. Um, it's really not that hard once you get the, you use the cropping tool. So it. I mean, if you come across anything, you can inbox me and I can help out as much as I can. Um, the picture shouldn't be crooked if you have it. What do you mean it's crooked? Is it sideways, a different shape? 
if it came out a different shape, then, okay, let me show you. Um, this is another thing. You can format. I'm sorry, because it's, it's too bright. Format the shape. This is another thing that we have to deal with, which is crazy, because you would think once you fill it in, it doesn't do that. But make sure you're... Oh, I'm sorry. Rotate, I'm holding it with my hand now, so give me a second. Rotate to shape. If you rotate to shape, sometimes the shape will jump off. So if you have it to where, like, you insert your image and it's up, it's it's not the direction you need it, cl right click, format to shape. Once you format to shape, this box will pop up. Go to, to the little paint dripping out. Go to fill. And then rotate with shape. Yeah, this will be left up so that you can go back as a reference. Honestly, it's a lot of stuff in Word that I I took classes using Word in in college and it's still stuff that I'm finding out that they never taught me. So, it is a lot. Okay, let me let me change it to a star so I can help out real quick. I should have left it on my um tripod. Okay, so you said a star. Okay. Okay, so with the star, you insert the shape, picture. Okay, so that, as you can see, the, picture, the image was too big. So this is where the format, the picture, will come into play. So now you click picture and go to crop and you'll be playing with the image now to get it into the size. <clears throat> now this right here, I recommend, honestly, I recommend going to Photoshop for this. If you're trying to do like a star shape, something like that, I would re highly recommend going to Photoshop. I can show y'all how to do that later on today if I can get the time squeezed in. Because as you can see, this image is, all the shapes are not not good for um for every image. I will say that. That's more so if you're going to Photoshop. You said, hold on, the pick, I'd only half, halfway in the stuff. Yeah, but you can format it, as I just said. Um, but as you can see, the full thing will not work. So when you're doing like a random shape like this with a heart, um, any type of funny shapes that do not cover, because you got to think about it, a picture is going to be a rectangle or a square. So if it's going to be a funny shape, and the person isn't in directly in the middle of the image and you got all of this access then this is what's gonna happen you're gonna get this extra off to the side or it's not gonna work out so if you're trying to do a star I recommend going to Photoshop a lot of people get um they get intimidated by Photoshop I used to be um, I used to ask my sister all the time to do things that I had to do but she has her own life. She has a job that she has to be at. So I couldn't depend on her fixing my stuff that I had to get done, that I had deadlines to meet. So what I did is I pushed myself to learn how to do certain things in Photoshop. Don't get me wrong. From time to time, I get stuck and I'll still I'll text her like, how do you do this? Do you remember how to do that? Um, if it's something that she could tell me offhand, she'll help me. But I try to learn anything because if I got deadlines to meet and she's busy, she has her life, I have my life. Um, I have to learn on my own. So a lot of stuff that I do in Photoshop, I wing it. But it works out. It ends up working out how I need it to. So I can come back um, a little later because I have to actually start my daughter with her schoolwork. So I could start. Um, I could do another live later on today. I'll probably try to do about 630 maybe. That's central time. And come back to show you how to insert um, an image into just random shapes. 
so I can see what shapes I could come up with and I'll, I'll, I'll make sure the star is one of them but yeah this this um inserting into shapes like I said the best route use it for if you're doing like if you're doing a pillow if you're doing something that is that the image can actually cover it without having to make the image smaller to where most of the shape is going to be shown still So with that being said, y'all, I got to start my baby with her schoolwork. So I'll come back, like I said, about maybe about 630. If I can get on sooner, then I will. But for sure, about 630 to come back on and do a quick live for the Photoshop. So y'all have a good day.